Hi everybody, it's Alita from Science Stars here to do some hands-on fun science with you today. Today we're going to be making lovely bath bombs and you might be wondering to yourself, how is that science? What does a bath bomb have to do with science? Well, when you put a bath bomb into water, it starts a chemical reaction because there are two ingredients in them that when they come together, they start to react and create all sorts of bubbles filled with carbon dioxide, and that is called a chemical reaction. So that is where the science comes in. So it's a bit of chemistry. So I'm gonna show you what you need, and we're gonna get started. And you may be able to make one like this, or you may be able to make one like this, depending on what mold you have. And if you have our Science Stars kit, you will be able to make it with the ingredients in there. But if not, I'll be able to show you what ingredients you can use that you might already have in your home. So let's get started. So here are the ingredients that you're going to need to make your bath bombs. Now, if you have the Science Stars bath bomb kit, you're going to get citric acid, sodium bicarbonate, you're going to get oil and a tube of colored powder. You're going to get a stir stick and you're gonna get a mold of some sort to be able to shape your bath bomb. Now, if you don't have the Science Stars bath bomb kit, you can use cream of tartar, which is easily found in supermarkets, as well as the sodium bicarbonate or bicarbonate of soda. Um, you can use food coloring. To make your bath bomb smell nice, you can use some scents that are used in baking. Here we have orange, almond, and vanilla, or you can use essential oils. Here I have a lovely cranberry essential oil. Now, other optional ingredients are flower petals. They can add a scent, but also make your bath bombs look lovely and decorative. And over here, you've got a spray bottle with water in it, a bowl. Okay, so that's what you need and let's get started. So the bath bomb is actually science in action. When you put it into water and it starts to bubble, you're creating a chemical reaction and the result is fizzy bubbles filled with carbon dioxide. Now I'm gonna give you a little demonstration here of a chemical reaction. So this here is a fizzing tablet that you can drink. It's a multivitamin tablet. And when you put it into water, look what happens, okay? And I'm gonna explain why. Watch what's happening here. You see the bubbles? Now, there are two ingredients in here and they're the same ingredients that go into a bath bomb. One is sodium bicarbonate, or you may know it as baking soda, and the other one is citric acid. And when they come together in the presence of water, they start to react and they carry out a process called neutralization. Okay, so in the case of the bath bombs, it's the same thing, but you just can't eat it because it tends to have things like perfumey scents and things like that. So we'll put that to the side for now. You can hear it fizzing away. It really is a delight for all the senses because you can hear it, you can see the lovely color, it has a lovely smell. So you've got the two ingredients that come together. One's an acid, the citric acid, and the other one is sodium bicarbonate, which we call alkali. So the two come together in the presence of water to create a chemical reaction and that's how you get your fizzy, lovely uh, bath bomb experience when you take a bath. So let's get started. Take your sodium bicarbonate and you're going to want to add two parts sodium bicarbonate or baking soda to one part citric acid. Now, if you have the Science Stars bath bomb kit, that will be about half of the bag of sodium bicarbonate. And you should be able to make two with this kit. And that will be, again, half the bag of citric acid. So two parts sodium bicarbonate to one part citric acid. So about half the bag, okay. And we're gonna give that a wee mix. Mix it all up. There we go. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add some drops of oil. Now we don't wanna to add 
too much oil because if it gets too wet it's going to start to react because we have the acid and the alkali together right now and if they get wet they will start to react and fizz and that means that they won't fizz when they get into the bath okay so one two three four four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oop, 20, 21. Now give that a mix. And you wanna mix it really, really well to try to get uh, a consistency where it's sticking together, kind of like wet sand. Okay, that's not gonna be enough. So I'm gonna keep dropping drops in. Mm, I've lost count by now, but it's better to go by what it feels like, or what it looks like. Okay, some more. It's starting to thicken up a little bit. I can hear it fizzing a little bit. And try to mix it. So make sure you get all the blobs out. Try to get a good consistency. Now here's where you're going to add the color and if you've got food coloring add a few drops. You don't need much because when it gets wet, it does turn quite uh, bright. You don't want to stain your bathtub. Um, any color. If you do have the Science Stars bath bomb kit, however, you'll have a little capsule, which you'll pop open like so, and just drop in the color. So I'm gonna use about half because I'm gonna save the other half for my other bath bomb. So we'll give that a stir. And if you have the Science Stars kit, your baking soda or sodium bicarbonate is already going to be scented. And it's gonna be a surprise scent, okay? I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it is a lovely scent. If you don't have the kit, this is where you can add uh, smell to it. If you have anything maybe in your kitchen, like here I have orange extract, I have almond, I have vanilla. So these are all things that are used in baking. Uh, but I also have an essential oil. This one's cranberry. That's a lovely smell. So you might have essential oils around your house. Lavender is a really nice relaxing one. Um, so I've already got my scent in, so I'll not put anything in, but just add maybe two or three drops of the scent of your choice and keep mixing. So it's still quite dry, which is good, but we want to now put it together and get it shaped into the mold that we're going to make it in. So you might have a mold like this, or you might have a mold or a tray like this. So these ones are gonna look more like a tart, and these are gonna look more like sphere, okay? So now give your bowl a little spray. Do two sprays. Now, can you hear it fizzing? It is reacting, but it's okay if it reacts a little tiny bit. There'll still be plenty that needs to react or that still will be able to react, okay? This is just to get it to hold together a little bit better, okay? Now, I'm going to spray the tray, okay? And that just is gonna allow it to hold together a wee bit more. And then I'm going to pour it, pour the contents into this foil tray. So what you can do is press down. You can use your fingers as well, as long as you haven't used too much food coloring, if you've done it that way, because it can stain your fingers. 
Okay, so squishing it all in. It's reacting a bit more than I would like, but it'll still be okay. I'm just gonna pat it in and make it nice and compact. Okay. So if you have more, get it in and gently but firmly press it all in together. Okay. If you find it's still a bit dry and it's not holding together, you can put another squirt on top. However, I'm not going to do it because I can tell I've added enough water, maybe slightly more than I would have liked, but it's, it's hard to gauge it sometimes, um, but we should be okay. It's not too bad. I don't hear it reacting anymore. There. So I'm just gonna leave that somewhere to dry, maybe in a windowsill where the sun can get at it. And I'm gonna leave it for a few days. And after a few days, when it's nice and dry, it's gonna be ready. So I'll just be able to pull this away easily and that will come pop out of the foil tray and then it will be ready to use for the bath. Now what I like to do, I like to get two baths out of it, so I tend to break mine in half and use one for one bath and use one for another, but um, you can use it whatever way you'd like. You can even make the two and put them both into one bath together for a full bath bomb, lovely experience. If you've got the round mold, what you wanna do is spray a bit of water into one side and start filling it up, okay? gonna pack it in nice and compact okay Let's put a little bit more in to make sure it's completely completely filled okay because you're gonna put you're gonna fill the other side up and do the same oh spray it first and fill it up again, nice and tightly. And you're gonna bring them together. So that's why they need to be nice and full so that when they come together, they're going to stick together well. So we put a little bit of water just to make it a bit sticky and bring the two together and give them a little twist like that just to make it nice and compact yet even more. Okay, so there you have a sphere. That's gonna be a sphere-shaped bath bomb. And again, you need to leave it for a couple of days for it to dry completely and then once it is dry, you'll be able to take these apart and your bath bomb will come out and it will be ready to go. So, how's that? Great. So, the last thing you can do, if you like, this is optional, you can add things like little flower petals into your mix. And that makes it lovely and decorative. These ones have a nice smell to it as well. So there's no limit on what you can add in terms of lovely smells and scents, colors. Be creative. You can find more information about bath bombs and how to make them on the Twinkle website at twinkle.co.uk.
So today you learned how to make a bath bomb. You learned the science behind it. You learned that an acid and an alkali, when they come together in the presence of a liquid like water, it creates a chemical reaction resulting in fizzy bubbles filled with carbon dioxide. And this process is known as neutralization. So I hope you enjoy your bath bomb. I hope you have a lovely bath tickling all your senses, bar your sense of taste. You'll be able to use your sense of hearing, your sense of sight, your sense of smell, and your sense of touch. Okay, so enjoy. We will see you soon in the next video and take care. Saying bye for now.